Hello, it's Patrick. I'm here at CES Unveiled in Las Vegas, and I ran across this booth that has solid state batteries. And I've seen solid state batteries at booths at CES before, but you know, they're kind of vaporware. These guys actually have a shipping motorcycle. So I'm, I'm talking to this Verge Next company and their motorcycle, and also the company that makes the solid state batteries themselves. It's something that you can pre-order pre at shipping in Q1. This might be the, the real deal. We're talking something that can charge five times faster, has double the energy density, doesn't matter if it's cold, it can still charge up quickly, and it lasts significantly longer. So is Verge Next is the company? Uh, so this is part of uh, sister companies that we have. So I'm from Verge Motorcycles, as is Becca. Verge Next is a company that basically licenses our technology to OEMs, other manufacturers as well. So licensing our um, motor technology, essentially. But I'm from Verge Motorcycles. This is our motorcycle, the TS Pro. Awesome. So this is the first solid state vehicle that's in production right now. Correct. That's, World first, you heard it here first. That's, that's the like big news. Yes. And it's got an axe charge, charger on it? It is, yeah, so that's another first as well. 200 kilowatts? Yes. Uh, charge rate? And you can charge 80% in about 10 minutes. Just 10 minutes? Just 10 minutes. That's Enough to almost burn your mouth on your coffee. So what are the advantages of solid state? Uh, number one, it's safer. Uh, it's greener as well, so it's using uh, chemical, well, it's not actually using chemical, sorry. Uh, it's lithium ion, which is most EV manufacturers use lithium, which is, some would argue it's not um, safe. Uh, some would also argue that it's uh, unethical to mine the lithium as well. So solid state battery, the actual technology behind it is far, far safer to use, far greener as well. The other thing is faster charging, and also you could charge in negative 20 degrees Celsius all the way up to 100 degrees Celsius as well. So it doesn't degrade the battery. Like you don't have to do like preconditioning. Do not. Uh -huh. And it also has up to 100,000 cycles in life cycle of charging in the battery. So lithium ion, you have about five, 10,000 cycles, 100,000 cycles. How is the energy density of it? Is like the pack bigger or smaller? Oh, uh, that's a good question. You want to ask the person standing right next to you right there. Uh -huh. That's actually is filled up for you, but uh, <laughs> don't know that yet, sorry. <laughs> um, how, how much is the, the vehicle when, when is? The cost? Can you get it? Yeah. yeah, okay, so we have two different types. We have the TS Pro 217 miles, that's $29,900. We have the TS Pro Extended Long Range, $34,900. Not including taxes and fees, of course. And it's shipping Q1 this Correct. year? Yeah, in the US it'll ship Q1 this year. We're very so excited. It's about already it. in production, you just got our order. We're just ready to, we're ready to rock here in the awesome. US. Yeah. All right, thank you so much. My pleasure. Yeah, so the company Donut Lab. Yep. And you guys have the first in-production solid-state batteries in a vehicle. Yes, absolutely. So, wow, that's that's big, pretty big news. <laughs> yeah, I mean, for the last 15 years, everybody's been saying that next year or in two or five years, solid-state batteries will be here, and that's been postponed every year further and further. Uh, today, we made history by uh, incorporating uh, solid-state battery into this bike. So Verge, uh, they are shipping the first solid state battery enabled production vehicles to customers and they are using our uh, battery. So uh, they are one of the launch partners. Uh, we also partnered with Cova Power that electrifies uh, trucks in heavy transport industry, uh, as well as Watt Electric who builds uh, skateboards and uh, vehicle platforms for other OEMs. So they also now incorporate our battery into their, into their vehicle platforms and basically I would say the, the biggest thing with this battery, first of all, that it's the first one in, in the world that is available today actually for OEMs and even in consumer vehicles. But the second thing is that uh, normally, uh, let's say that even though there's many potential benefits of solid state batteries from uh, faster charging times and so forth, normally there's been compromises made. Maybe you have fast charge time, but the cycle life is short, or you have high cycle life, but it's five times more expensive than lithium ion. And uh, we've been able to bring all the best potential aspects of solid state battery into one. So it's 400 watt hours per kilogram. That's uh, around two times the range compared to what you have today. We have a five minute charge, because zero to full. The density is like twice. Yeah, as yeah, good. exactly, exactly, okay. twice as good. Uh, you have a uh, five time uh, zero to 100 charge time if you have enough power in the supercharger. Uh, uh, you have 100,000 cycles, which is compared to the second best uh, batteries in the world, uh, 5,000 cycles, so it's 20 times more, which means that it lasts 10 lifetimes of a car.
uh, uh, on top of that, um, it's made out of materials that are abundantly available, green materials, no rare and um, um, uh, geopolitically constrained materials, let's put it this way. But on top of all of that, it's cheaper than lithium ion from day, to, day one, which is today. Really? Yes. And so that means that whatever you are using today, if you're an OEM and you have battery in your car, we can sell this battery cheaper and it's green, it charges six to 10 times faster, it has 20 times the lifetime and it packs twice the energy into the same pack. So what, what's been the limiting factor? Has it been yield rate on the batteries or like why, why has it, everybody talks about it every year. But yeah, it's the first one that's well, let's put it this production. way that these specs, so there's companies that have said that their solid state batteries come out in 2028 or 2030 or 2031, whatever it is. If you look at what they plan to release, our specs today beat everyone out there that's planning to bring something into the market in five years from now. There's not a single spec that is planned for future that beats what we have today available. So if you ask like what is what has been the limiting factor, it's been that this technology hasn't existed until today. So yeah. Awesome. Well thank you so much, thank you. Marco. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. All right, what do you think? Do you think this is this is it? This is where things are really gonna start kicking off. We're gonna start seeing more solid state battery and electric vehicles. Um, what's going to take for like Tesla to start adopting this? Maybe they've been kind of holding back, and that's why they they canceled some of their other uh, lithium ion contracts. Maybe they're they're about to launch something, and they're just keeping it under wraps. What do you think in the comments below? We'll see you again soon. Stay tuned. Like, share, subscribe. First solid state production vehicle, motorcycle. Words next. Donut has to add How much? What's the range? 34,000. 34,000? 370 miles from Wow. Uh, Solid-state battery technology, so you can charge 80% in under 10 minutes. We also comes with NACS charging. 80% in how? 10 minutes. 10 minutes? 80% 10 minutes. Solid-state battery. 370 mile range, zero to 60 in three and a half seconds. Charges at 200 kilowatts? That's our technology as well. So the actual motor and the battery is created by the company Donut Lab. Oh, okay. That's a, it's a hubless integrated rear motor. Oh, a hubless integrated rear motor, okay. No, no build, no chain.